Hi guys, welcome back to my garage. Uh, this is just a wee quick little update of a little issue I found the other day that when I was out riding the bike. Uh, I stalled the bike for the first time ever. I know it's difficult to stall these wee bikes, but I did and we all do it from time to time. So, no issue at all. Listen to what I do with every other bike. Put the clutch in, kick the starter button and away she'll go. I thought, oh, that didn't work. That's odd. Put it in neutral before it'll start. I thought, that worked well. I thought, okay. I tried it a couple of times and yeah, sure enough, it wouldn't, wouldn't work if I pulled the clutch in. And I had also to put it back in neutral. I just thought, well, it's a peculiarity of the bike. And then, today I was sitting, this morning I was sitting thinking, that's really odd, because with every bike, you pull the clutch in, every modern bike anyway, and this allows you to start to in gear. So I had a wee look at the clutch switch, and sure enough, there is a wire going in to the clutch lever, uh, which so it said to me, well, there is a clutch switch. So then I thought, okay, I've got, I've put, put adjustable levers on the bike, and I always, my hands are quite small, so I quite like it when it's on setting one, the very shortest setting, which is really sweet for me. So I thought, I'll play with the settings. So I clicked the lever up to position two, and it wouldn't start when it's in gear. I put to position three, and it did start. So, oh, great. So basically, I've done a quick fix on it, and I've modified the adjustable levers. These ones are from Hitchcock's, and I have to say, they're absolutely excellent quality. They're really superb. But I fi fixed the problem. I had uh, some, all I had to potentially do was to basically put a wee a pad on here. So I had some adhesive, some velcro adhesive pad lying around it. I thought, I'll do it, cut a tiny wee square off and fit it onto the part of the lever which actuates the switch. So then I thought, I'll give it a wee try. So with the cable disconnected at the moment, I just basically slipped the lever back in, temporarily put the screw back in. Again, at the moment the clutch is, there's no clutch cable connected, but it's just to test it. And when you move the lever, now on position one, you can hear the clutch, the clutch switch switching. If I put it up to position six, it seems to be just a slight bit of resistance in there. Position five, and again, a slight little position resistance there. Position four, position three, it hits the bar. So potentially, if like me, you've got smaller hands and you want to use any of the positions from one to three, or certainly one to two, because from position three, it works fine. But if you want to use position one and two, you could have used this, done this little modification. So with, now, if I pull, the, with the lever not pulled in, the bike is in first gear, obviously she won't start, but now, if I pull the lever in, up she comes. Excellent. So she's now back to being like a normal bike. So again, this may be useful to you if you bought the Hitchcock's levers and you come upon the same issue. This was, to me, a dead simple wee fix. So from using positions one and two, the clutch switch won't work. If from position three, four and five onwards, it works okay. So if you buy these levers, you, you want to use it in class position one and two like me, just attaching a, some kind of little pad on that inside surface, that's the, that cures the problem. One other little issue that uh, some people have with these bikes is with the, the gear lever. And for the UK market especially, or almost any market where the, the gear lever is only toe actuated, uh, when it comes to the factory, it's obviously set too low and it's difficult to get riding boots underneath the lever to operate it. Um, on this one, I've actually put the, a heel and toe lever on, which I got from India on eBay. And 
I set it initially with one notch up, which is the way it's been kind of recommended to do with the, the gear lever that came with the bike. And it's, work, it's been working fine. It's been great for downshifts. And but I've been tending to use just move my foot back with my toe back and just hit the, the heel lever to operate that side of it. But this morning I've actually positioned the lever back to the standard position that it comes out of the factory, uh, which wouldn't work well with the, the pure of the single toe lever. But I think it's going to work beautifully on this because at the end of the day it was designed for more of the Indian market and it was really designed to use the heel and toe changer. Um, so yeah, I think it's really sweet uh, using the, the heel and toe changer. I'll show you what I mean. This is it fitted with the heel and toe changer set in its factory setting. It has not been raised by one notch, it's purely as it would come from the factory. As you can see, because these are quite chunky boots on, if you just had the, the, the toe one, it's fine for going pushing down the way. But trying to get your foot underneath that lever is really, really difficult. And that's why people have been moving up a notch. But with the heel and toe, you can just rest your foot on the pad. Well, you change that way, it's easy. That way, it's easy. It's just so, so nice. It really is. This is what this bike was meant to use. And to me, for not very much money and really quick delivery from India, it was a very, very good modification. That's one I would recommend. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found my wee modification or my wee update on the Hitchcock's adjustable levers and the heel and toe gear change uh, modifications. I hope you found them useful. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, please hit the, the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon and you'll be updated with any future videos. Thanks for watching. Ride safe. Bye for now.